Okay. I am a traveler that was sent to change the future of every planet's demise to prevent the coming of Slobbernoggin, a hideous beast that will soon take over out of space if I do not stop it. If you enjoy watching these horrible stories, please subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell at the bottom as that's the only way I can continue this. And without further ado, let's get right to it. Captain Fish Log 00000001. It's been nearly three days of eating flamenon and drinking pee water from a homeless buckaloo's teeth. I have managed to find my missing pilot. She was a beast with big, um, uh, potatoes. Sadly, the boomers took her life. This desert land on Jubalumba has been very, very harsh. Nothing but weird creatures flying around me, waiting for my demise. As I walked through the green fungus sand, I noticed a large octopus-looking thingy. My goal is to find a ship that I can ride like I ride your mom on this... I am a traveler that was sent to change the future of every planet's demise to prevent the coming of Slobbernoggin, a hideous beast that will soon take over out of space if I do not stop it. I managed to obtain the brainwaves of the octopussy and got little from his brain activity. So I killed it and ate it. It smelt of vinegar and heavy wine sauce. As I was eating, I bit down on something hard, like mine. And I realized that this octopussy was made of something kind of metallic material. I then contacted P.U.S., my lucky companion who only speaks to me through my butthole. He informed me on how to construct a sweet ride. So I followed his advice. Upon time and ripping apart the octopus's genitalia, I was able to create a vehicle that would allow me to travel faster and further. With the pea water, I was able to survive for days till I reached a glass, a glass, a glass ass. As I approached the butthole, I noticed I was being watched by eyes, eyes watching me from all around the ass bubble. I felt no threat and knocked on what looked like a wart on the ass bubble. Upon doing so, a guy answered, and he looked really weird, but okay. He asked me what I was doing in such a disgusting planet as this, in which I replied, I crashed here, and am looking for a ride off this planet. As he opened what looked like the butthole of this ass bubble, I entered. He kind of creeped me out. But you know, I need to leave this planet soon, so I took it like a champ. As I asked this fancy man where his leader is, and he replied, over there, in that building that looks like a huge cucumber, I made my descent into the unknown. I noticed the guy sniffing me. Yeah, mm, you smell good. Is that brute? I ignored his advances. As I am turbuline and only smash hot chicks. As I approached the cucumber, I allowed the creepy dude to watch my amazing vehicle while I talked with his superior. I approached the door. As placed my finger on the pad, a voice answered. A, a, a beautiful voice. Almost like a chimpanzee in the wilderness of Benigabuli. An image appeared on the screen in front of me. A beautiful creature that probably smells like sweet jelly. Uh, oh, uh, hello. 